I'm 10 years old riding my brand new pink bicycle. All of a sudden, a horsefly lands on my shoulder. I reach over to knock it off and I go flying over the handlebars. I wake up, I'm in the hospital, missing my front tooth, and I can't breathe. That day changed my life forever. I've dedicated many years of studying on breathing and I've helped over 120,000 patients over the course of 12 years being in practice and improving their lives. My new book is called Learning How to Breathe and I am just so excited to share with you on November 16th. It's gonna be pre-released. You have to get it. I'm gonna give you all the formulations on how to take a deep breath. But before I go into the breath formula, what, are, what kind of mistakes are you making? There's three common mistakes that we make on a daily basis on breathing. Number one is time. I have three kids. I understand we're always on the go, 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 taking our kids here and there and not taking the time to breathe. Number two is posture. So many patients come to see me and they're wearing their shoulders as earrings. They're not having the proper posture to breathe. They're restricting their diaphragm and they can't breathe properly. Number three is chemicals. We wake up in the morning using shampoos and conditioners and dryer sheets are smelling our house with all these artificial scents, all these perfumes and hairsprays that we're putting on. All those artificial scents are, and formulas are, what they're doing is clogging up our pores where we can't breathe properly. So I wanna give you a simple formula in order for you to have the most proper breath that you can. B is back. Like I said before, you have to have right posture to breathe properly. R is for relax. We just have to chill out. We have to calm our nerves in order to take a deep breath. E is for essential or oils. I love essential oils. And I have one called, actually it's called Breathe. And I use peppermint, melaleuca, and eucalyptus on a daily basis to help me to breathe. These smell fantastic. Get rid of the chemicals that are in your house and use essential oils and clean up those chemicals. Use natural things to help you breathe. A is for allergies. We have to identify allergies that we're allergic to. We have to address them and we have to eliminate those allergens that are within our body. T, thermography. Thermography is a wonderful tool to show inflammation. We can see inflammation in our sinuses, and our lungs, and our diaphragm, all those things that show us where we're having trouble with breathing. And then H is heal from within. We have to heal from inside. Just like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz had all the power inside her to get home, we have all the power inside us to heal any ailment with our breath. So again, November 16th, I'm so excited. It's pre-release for the new book, How Learning How to Breathe by Dr. Corinne Weaver. Get it, it will change your life forever. Thank you.